So let's talk about Queen Vashti. She was replaced, but why? Everyone knows that Queen Esther had to come and take her place for such a time as this, but why did Queen Vashti even lose her position in the first place? Well, let's look at it. She did not obey the king and she embarrassed him. There was this great feast going on. He was celebrating. It was like the third uh, year of the king's reign. He had rule over 127 provinces from India to Ethiopia. He showed off all of his stuff, all his riches, what have you. And at the end, he did a great feast for the princes that he was over and the noblemen. Queen Vashti also had her own feast going on too. During the feast, he was trying to call her in, Queen Vashti, and have the royal crown brought in as well because Queen Vashti was very beautiful to look on. Instead of coming at the king's decree, she refused. Now all the princes are looking at him like, wow, so you have all these great things. You have rule over all these provinces and you don't have your own queen in order. That's embarrassing. And it is embarrassing. How are you going to sit there and show off everything and be celebrating and the one person you expect to celebrate with you turn their back on you and refuse to even see you. And this made him furious. And one of his wise men said, not only did she disrespect the king, but she also disrespected the princes that were there. And this will cause an uproar among the women in the other provinces and give them a reason to be disrespectful to their husbands. And he said there would be nothing but contempt and wrath if it got out that Queen Vashti disrespected the king and nothing was done to her. You have to think, Back in the day, if it was a man disrespecting the king, he would have been dealt with, probably beheaded in prison, something like that. Something had to be done that the woman who's supposed to be on your right hand disrespecting you and nothing happening, that would have caused a huge problem throughout all 127 provinces. Basically, Queen Vashti outright disrespected her man. And that's something that we see today, oddly enough, that some women do not know how to respect or honor their husband they don't know how to celebrate when it's time for him to celebrate. And then they wonder why their husband is so miserable or they don't have a happy marriage. It's because are you in tune with your husband? Are you in tune with this is the time to celebrate? This is the time to rest. This is the time to be happy. This is the time to be serious. The book of Ecclesiastes says there is a time and a season for everything that is under the heaven. So are you recognizing the time and the season with your husband? That's all I wanted to share. I thought it was real interesting that even though things like that happened back in the day, it's still happening now. The book of Ecclesiastes says too that there's nothing new under the sun. I hope this is a word of wisdom for some of you all.